Hello learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners of classes 6, 7, 8. We have been discussing learning time and tense under the series grammar in context. We have covered more or less all the tense forms, present tense, past tense and future tense in each tense, simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous likewise for past as well as future. We have so far done eight parts, this is the ninth part. This part is to see integrated use of all the tenses. Learners, you know, we use language very freely, authentically for purposes. So, we can't say that you speak all this in one particular tense form. So, we need to use in the first sentence maybe past tense, in the second sentence present tense. So, in continuity, in authentic, authentic language use, we have all the forms integrated. For example, I went to play yesterday, today I am here. So, past tense and then present tense. So, this is how language is used. Language is complex, authentic, natural. So, we have to know to use the grammatical forms, language item in authentic natural language. So, learners, this part 9 is integrated time and tense used. So, before we move on to do the time and tense activities in an integrated manner, let us know the objectives of this lesson. Objectives of this lesson, at the end of this lesson, you learners will be able to understand and use time and tense in context and you have discovered or you will be able to discover the tense forms, all tense forms and use them in real life purposes in speaking and writing. With me is you learners and Yukta, we will together do some activities then discuss the problems with that. This will lead to internalizing the language use language forms in real life situations. Here are the objectives of the lesson. Yukta is reading out for you. Hello everyone. So, the objectives of the lesson are, at the end of this lesson, learners will be able to understand time and tense, the use all tense forms in context, discover the tense forms and use them in speech and writing appropriately. Good. Yukta, now we are going to see, I said integrated exercises, initially single sentences, later in paragraphs, in natural language situations. So, Yukta is reading out to you the sentences first, then we expect you to answer them, then we will give you the answers. Come on learners, you may keep yourself pen and notebook ready, then just write the answers only, not the complete sentence. Okay, first, Yukta will read out. Come on, go ahead. The first sentence, I get up, got up at 7 a.m. yesterday. I go, went for morning walk for about 40 minutes yesterday. I go, went to the market every day to buy vegetables. I read, read the newspaper for some time. I talk, talked to my brother last evening at about 6.30 p.m. I will visit. I visited my friend this weekend. Last week, I had asked, asked my friend to write an essay on nature, but he forgot it completely. She has been applying, is applying for various jobs for the past five years. I am, I was the captain of our school hockey team when I am, I was in class ninth. I had worked in a multinational company before I moved to the teaching job. They lived, they had been living in the village during 2000s when the incident took place. They shall have completed, they will complete the work by the time you reach the place. Learners, Yukta has read the sentences with two options. You must have worked by this time. So now she is going to read out the correct usage, use of the verb forms. 
here is ekta for you again so here are the correct sentences i got up at 7 am yesterday i went for morning walk for about 40 minutes yesterday i go to the market every day to buy vegetables i read the newspaper some time i talked to my brother last evening at about 6:30 pm i will visit my friend this weekend last week i had asked my friend to write an essay on nature but he forgot it completely she has been applying for various jobs for the past 5 years i was the captain of our school hockey team when i was in class 11th i had worked in a multinational company before i moved to the teaching job they had been living in the village during 2000s when the incident took place they shall have completed the work by the time you reach the place yes learners you have got it right and ekta has read out for you the correct sentences now we will further explore some more sentences in isolation i will read out the set of sentences with two options then you will be working on it yukta also will be working on it and then later yukta will give the correct responses to you so come on let's do it here are the sentences for you my teacher asks asks are asked three options learners my teacher ask asks are asked as to complete the work yesterday my sister go goes went to play the whole day yesterday evening we play we plays we played cricket against our neighborhood school last week we defeat we defeats we defeated them with huge difference where were you or where are you in the morning today how old were you or how old are you when you were or when you were in class 2 i write i wrote the examination last month my brother who gets who get who got the first rank is now studying in the university we did not have we don't have so many social media 20 years ago as we do today my father study my father studied or my father studies in a village school and go goes went to the best university later come on learners try which one will be the right option among the three so here is ekta for you with correct responses let me also check whether ekta has done it rightly come on go ahead okay so the correct answers are my teacher asked us to complete the work yesterday my sister went to play yesterday evening we played cricket against our neighborhood school last week we defeated them with huge difference mm-hmm. where were you in the morning today how old were you when you were in class 2 i wrote the examination last month my brother who got the first rank is now studying in the university we did not have so many social media 20 years ago as we have many my father studied in a village school and went to the best university later learners please check it whether you have done right or whether ekta has done it if she is wrong please let us know we will say how we are wrong or whether uh, how it could be fine all right the idea is to learn to use correct verb forms tense forms now learners you must have noticed the last activity last task it is mostly in past tense yes. yeah fine now we are giving you some particular focused activity with three options here is yukta for you to read out and she only will later fill the correct form i'm going to put you into serious talks now come okay. on okay all right come on read out so the first sentence the school assembly become became had become quite well before the headmaster reached had reached when i reach reached had reached the station the train arrive arrived had arrived fine 
when I see, saw, had seen him, he moves, moved, had moved out of the hotel. I notice, noticed, had noticed the difference be before the tell told, had told me. When I enter, entered, had entered the house, my brother goes, went, had gone to play. When our captain asked, asked, had asked the team to exercise, many of us start, started, had started doing it. Learners, Yukta has read out six, seven sentences for you. There are three options she has given. There is one thing you must have noticed. It is past perfect and past. Yes. So, try doing it. You must have done it. Now, we are going to give you the correct sentences with correct options. Here is Ikta for you to read out again the correct sentences. Okay. So, the correct sentences are, the school assembly had become quite well before the headmaster reached. When I reached the station, the train had arrived. When I saw him, he had moved out of the hotel. I had noticed the difference before they told me. When I entered the house, my brother had gone to play. When our captain asked the team to exercise, many of us had started doing it. Learners, Yukta has read out had plus third form of the verb and the past tense. That is past perfect and past. So, deliberately all the sentences were using past perfect and past. We know that we have discussed past perfect is used an action before an action in the past, mm -hmm. the, that the earlier action, the later action in past. So, Yukta and the learners, uh, we have been doing all the examples, most of the examples, illustrations in single sentences. Now, let us see in a paragraph. So far, we have seen single sentences. Now, we are seeing continuous narrative. Means, okay. a, from a text, a story, in a, from a paragraph or paragraphs. So, first task, how do you comprehend or comprehended spoken language? One model is called bottom up approach. According to this view, we piece or pieced together a message first by understanding the smallest units of language that is the sounds. Then we hear or we have heard the sound sequences together to form words. Our knowledge of words enables or is enabling us to understand phrases and sentences and finally, the entire passage. An alternative view is known as top down approach. In this model, based on our knowledge of the topic and situation, we can figure or we figured out the specific meaning of the passage and the sentences, phrases and words that form the message. Learners, you must have got it right. Now, Yukta is here for you to read out the whole passage with correct Verb forms. So, how do we comprehend spoken language? One model is called bottom up approach. According to this view, we piece together a message by first understanding the smallest units of language sounds. Then we hear the sound sequences together to form words. Our knowledge of words enables us to understand phrases and sentences and finally an entire passage. An alternative view is known as top-down approach. In this model, based on our knowledge of the topic and situation, we can figure out the specific meaning of a passage and the sentences, phrases and words that form the message. Learners, this is how Yukta has solved it. Check it out. This particular paragraph about how we understand language, bottom-up approach and top-down model. So, it has all forms of verbs, past tense, present tense, can figure, means future tense with capability, many things. Come on, let us see one more. Here is another task. Uh, let me read out the same way I read out the previous one. And now, I will read out followed by Ukta solving it. And 
if that means that you were solving it. Long ago, there was or there is a big fight between birds and men over mangoes. The men said or the men say, the mangoes belong to us, the mangoes will belong to us, but birds eat them all. The birds said, the mangoes belong to us and men eat them, men have eaten them all up. The men got or will get angry with the birds and the birds got angry with men. They fought for a long time. One day a little boy saw or see a mango on a tree. He, want, he wanted the fruit, but there was a bird sitting near it. So he said to the bird, the mango is mine, do not eat it. The bird said, no, it is mine. The boy threw or has thrown a stone at the bird and hit it. All the birds in the tree got or had gotten very angry. They said, mangoes are ours, we will eat them. We will eat them, we will not let men eat them. Soon a number of men came or come there, they said, we will kill the birds, but the birds flew away. Learners, now let us see how Yukta and you have solved it. So here is the paragraph that I solved. Long ago, there was a big fight between birds and men over mangoes. The men said, the mangoes belong to us, but the birds eat them all up. The birds said, the mangoes belong to us, but the men eat them all up. The men got angry with the birds, and the birds got angry with the men. They fought for a long time. One day, a little boy saw a mango on a tree. He wanted the fruit. But there was a bird sitting near it. So he said to the bird, that mango is mine, do not eat it. The bird said, no, it is mine. The boy threw a stone at the bird and hit it. All the birds in the tree got very angry. They said, the mangoes are ours. We will eat them. We will not let the men eat them. Soon a number of men came there. They said, we will kill all the birds. But the birds flew away. Learners, we have learnt all tense forms in context in natural language situations and in the last one, this one, we have seen integrated grammar activity, though it is not completely integrated, somewhere in isolation. So, learners, not to worry, grammar comes by use. Let me give an example. We learn to drive on a bicycle. Or as adults, after 18 years, we drive the two-wheeler or three-wheeler or four-wheelers, means a vehicle, car or even, even some people drive trucks and all. We have to know the traffic rules. We have to know steering, accelerator, brake and clutch. In those days, now even that is autom automated. So, we know how much speed we can go. Language is also like that. We need not know first all rules. We need not know how an automation engine works. So, we must know, first to know to use it, drive it, then learn something happens in the middle of the road, you become a mechanic. So, this is how language, language comes first you start speaking it, using it. So, that is why we say grammar in context, that is why we ask you to read, write, speak, enjoy language through which you learn grammar. This is what con grammar in context. So, that is one thing I have been uh, thinking of telling you. I have now uh, said it, I am happy about it. Now, we are going to do two activities, one on the whiteboard describing how each verb forms. That means, present tense with four tenses, past tense with four tenses. That is simple present, present continuous, present perfect, uh, present perfect continuous, same way future. We are going to demonstrate it. Come on, on the blackboard, myself and Yukta, you may see it, just to notice it. This is not even uh, very necessary, but still you do it. Yukta, here is the display of each tense, there is one sentence for each tense, past, present, future. So, I am going to put you into a task, you will have to read the sentence and say which tense it is. Okay, past, come on, read this sentence. 
They were playing cricket whole day yesterday. What tense is it? It is past continuous. Very good, very good. Okay, what is this sentence? With the, it was she will have finished the job my, tomorrow evening. Future? Future? Continuous. No. She will have finished. She. Future perfect tense. Future perfect, sorry. Yeah. Then I have just. He, they have just gone to the city. Future perfect. No, present tense. Present, no? Per present perfect. perfect. Fine. So the same way, Sheila has been living in this house for the past seven years. So started in the past and continuing still. Okay. So present continuous. No, present perfect continuous. continuous. Fine. Present perfect mm -hmm. continuous. Then. Past in past, when he reached the room, his officer had already left. left. Past, perfect. perfect. Yeah. Learners, Yukta, let us demonstrate it on the whiteboard uh, with a tree diagram of how past, present and future tenses with the illustrations are happening in real life situations. So, let us see it, come on. So, here is the whiteboard to you. So, this is simple past, past tense and under which there are four tenses, simple past, read the sentence. They played cricket yesterday. Okay, then past continuous. She was playing cricket yesterday evening. Fine, then it was continuously happening, past perfect. He had played cricket before he left for the city. Fine. So. Two actions, one action in past perfect, other action in the past. Past perfect continuous. He had been playing cricket last week for four hours. In the past, for a long time, it was continuous playing. The same way, learners, present tense, simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. Future, simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Ikta, this is how the forms. You can okay. see them on the screen now. So, simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous with illustrations. Now, learners, we have come to the close of this session, that is the part 9 of time and tense in the grammar series, grammar in context. So, I would like to thank you and Yukta. And, Thank you so much. Uh, and whoever has participated in previous session, uh, Kriti Gautam in the previous sessions to seven parts. So, thank you very much and above all uh, to you learners, let me thank you from NCRT and from my side. Keep learning, keep noticing language. Let me also tell you another thing. Like listening, speaking, reading, writing, now we call grammaring as a skill, not as content. So, you do not have to learn grammar as content, idea. You have to learn it as usage. So, it is a skill. So, language skill. So, all the best learners. We will meet you in the next series of grammar. Any of the grammar items like active voice, passive voice, reported speech, preposition or punctuation, anything. As well as textbook based classroom lessons to meet the competencies. All the best.